Hey, I'm Brian Posehn. You may know me from my stand-up comedy or from the TV shows I've been on, like the Sarah Silverman program. I love comic books, metal, and anything nerdy, except furries. They're gross. But that does include Dungeons & Dragons, which I've been playing with the same group of my funny friends for a decade now. So we decided to record us playing the game and turn it into a podcast, and we call it... Nerd Poker Dungeons & Dragons Brian Posey and Friends Blaine Ken Sarah Sark Don't forget Jerry Now with more Dan and Steve And less Sarah, Jerry, and Sark Hey everybody, I'm Brian Posey You're listening to Nerd Poker Dungeons & Dragons With Brian Posey and Friends What's up, friends? Hey, check it out How you guys doing, man? Pretty cool. Just, <laughs> just keep it. Just, just hanging, hanging in there. out. Just, just having a good one. Just laying back. Just being chill. All right. Ain't nothing to it but to be doing it, motherfucker. What? Let's play some jazz and dragons. Uh, yeah. Um, <laughs> Let's trace No some donors, but lots of boners. Oh, yeah. Ah, yeah. Right? And by boners, we mean a turn of the century of faux de pas. <laughs> <laughs> We still have nuts in our mouth. <laughs> nuts in mouth. Are they still sentient though, or have we managed to strike the wisdom from their uh, their their tiny encasings? Yeah, they're dumb nuts. Dumb nuts. Dumb numb nuts. We just killed a giant. Yeah. Uh, right. You just killed a cyclops. Oh yeah, yeah, a giant uh, cyclops. Uh, better than a giant. Giant cyclops. Yeah, it was uh, it was uh, kind of like a weird uh, uh, chiclope. You had followed a trail down from the road uh, into the woods. Uh, the woods got darker and darker, and uh, uh, finally this thing just sort of came crunching up to see what was going on. And uh, you fucked it up. Uh, you managed to not get crushed with a, a giant redwood trunk or uh, its feet. And uh, uh, you or its sla- exploding ball parts. Its exploding <laughs> ball parts. parts. Uh, you uh, cut his Achilles, ken- uh, Achilles tendon. <laughs> Sorry, I did a little uh, Achilles, Achilles tendon. tendon. Achilles guy did uh, And then uh, Norm <laughs> Crosby coming up after the break, everybody. Uh, Remember Ziglitz? Mm-hmm. Sig- Sniglitz. Sniglitz. Sniglitz, yeah, yeah, you know what I meant. But with toasted coconut? Oh, sorry, that Zaglitz. I thought that was Zagnut. <laughs> now you're talking. <laughs> That's Beetlejuice's favorite. <laughs> What's fucking happening? Uh, well, a Zagnut, Brian. It's like a, it's like a Fifth Avenue candy bar, but it's got toasted coconut and t- it's got chocolate well, rose. That's Fourth Avenue. It's something people enjoyed, and uh, uh, actually, they never enjoyed it. Never. <laughs> no one. I never enjoyed the Zagnut bar. Everybody's thirtieth favorite candy, Zagnuts. <laughs> <laughs> it's also like chocolate, ran. but stiffer. Yeah. It's like if I if Kara give. lost a bet. No. Uh, so uh, <laughs> <laughs> the candy that resists. Yeah. Oh, don't fight the tube candy. It's uh, the chocolate people don't like. Mm-hmm. And we're back. All right. Uh, so you guys are in the woods. You're next to a, uh, a cyclops corpse, or as I like to call it, a cyclops I'm seeing that body. For skeleton witch. <laughs> uh, <laughs> cyclops corpse. <laughs> So the uh, the movement stops and the uh, the woods are still very quiet. As I said, all the animals sort of got out of the way. Uh, the woods are still very quiet, and uh, you're trying to figure out what's going on. Lyra said that you were going to start looking around. I'm going to search his body, and I'm also going to examine his eye and see if I can get kind of a sense of why it was glowing. Uh, see if we can find his car keys. I want to see if he's magical, basically. I want to see if it's the last place he left him. A phosphorescent kind of effect, or if I can use it to glean anything like, oh, like he was. Like the cube? Yeah, glean the cube. (laughs) (laughs) Time to glean the cube. I don't see why you're pretending to be asleep, Steve. That was a sweet gleam of the cube. Thanks, bro. (laughs) Holy shit. All our listeners will get that. It was effortless. Let's take a look at that clip. They live long enough. And here we see the let him coming up <laughs> out of Steve's throat. Uh, Is that on Netflix? Probably not. I doubt it. No. I think I looked for it on Netflix. It's probably actually. on YouTube gleam, for free. Gleam, gleam. Oh, for sure. Gleam. Everything's for free on YouTube if you don't mind the sound being sped up a little bit. Gleam, gleam. The cube. Gleam, gleam, gleam. 
That's it's not green. Me. The cube. So yeah, uh, he got anything in them in them uh, loin, uh, loincloths? Uh, so uh, you sort of do a big scan. All you find are uh, blown giant, up nuts. Yeah, blown up nuts. There's blood <laughs> everywhere. There's big giant testicle meat. Uh, all right. Uh, there's uh, there's filth and encrustation. You're dealing with something that lives in the woods. All right. Uh, uh, so you uh, you drink a gallon of Purell, and then you walk up to the head, and you uh, lift open the eyelid, very cartoon style, and it's not glowing. It's just dead, sort of half rolled back up into the head. Okay. Cool. Uh, it smells pretty bad. It's a big giant that lived in a in the woods. So, uh, so you are. Uh, Around this thing's body, it's lying in the middle of a pathway. The path kind of keeps going back down into the woods or back to the path where you Let's were. roll it off the path so no one sees it immediately. And uh, Can we roll it off the path? I don't Didn't know. Didn't you say it's like four stories tall? <laughs> yeah, it's pretty big. Oh, uh, covered in shrubs. Yeah, you've already, <laughs> you've already taken, <laughs> taken each other's Lyra pictures like on this it. Now. <laughs> All right, yeah, fuck it. Let's just, uh, but let's keep going down the, mm, should we keep going down the, you think about this. this was Maybe if we go back to that city up the hill, they'd be stoked that we killed this fucking monster that's been living in the Should we take woods. its eyeball? As proof? Yeah. Yeah, sure. You can take it. Yeah, There's I'll take proof it. Proof that we're gross. <laughs> <laughs> you wear it around your neck Suck like a flame. Eyeballs, flame. Right? I would Dear giants, look good, what we brought yeah, to you. Yeah, get a big like, retinal yeah. nerve. Yeah. How big is it? It's yeah. like the size of a love sack, Oh, that's true. Its eyeball is probably... It's like Massive. a beanbag chair. Bigger than one of us, so fuck that. Never mind. Yeah, it's probably about, I would say, love sack. Yeah. Love sack, baby. <laughs> if you see a giant cyclops on the side <laughs> of the road. <laughs> <laughs> cyclops! So if cyclops we keep going down the baby. path, <laughs> we could potentially run into uh, some kind of shelter. <laughs> I'm going to just talk through the love shack references because I'm... I don't have anything to contribute. I've tried making that impression, and it just doesn't come out the way it, it does in my head. I scrotum. It's as big as a whale. <laughs> and it's about to set sail. <laughs> oh, dear. Good times, everybody. Okay, so if we go farther down the path, there could be shelter. Yes. If we go back in the path, Paris, France. We could be found easier, and also, either way we go, we could run into another monster because it's starting to get dark out. And so we'll kill it. Is, <laughs> is there a house around? Yeah, I mean, are you guys more interested in following this path a little more? Or you want to head back to the yeah, main city? Do you, want, do you want right. to keep yeah, going? I want to keep down, down into the, the woods. Down, down into, into the woods. woods. Yes. Oh, man. Okay. Into the woods we go. Uh, All right. This one's for you, Meryl Streep. That movie almost killed me. Into the woods? It almost bored me to death. I've never seen anything so boring in my life. Why would you see that? I don't know. There's other things at the movie theater. I, he's part I know, of the and I have Streep no idea Army. why that was put into one, because oh nothing God, happens I in I saw Taken 3, though. Yeah, and? Good Lord. Oh, you fucking dodged a bullet. I'm sure. It's so bad. I didn't, I didn't even see two, so. <laughs> I like that two. premise, Dry. Yeah. What? Uh, well, they don't even know. Well, how many times are they going to kidnap his people? They don't. Oh, they frame him for his wife's murder, right? Yeah, it's uh, it's fucking, fugitive. It's the fugitive. Boo! It's the fugitive. And Lawrence Fishburne uh, plays uh, the guy helping him, uh, or he's the he's the like Tommy uh, Lee, Lee Jones. Jones. Yeah, yeah. Outhouse, outhouse. Yeah, outhouse. Boo! Uh, it's fucking. Not, but at least things happened. They didn't just. It wasn't just a bunch of people who walk out into a clearing in the woods and sing. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> into the woods. That's all. Nothing, nothing happens. I don't know why it was a movie. Hmm. It would be like it, as a play. I imagine they're just all dressed in black, sitting on chairs. I've seen the play, and a lot of it is it's just a deconstruction on all of those, which is like fine tales. in 1987, right? And yeah. like waiting Everybody for good don't. Uh, and I, as soon as I said Lawrence Fishburne, I knew it wasn't Lawrence Fishburne's Forrest Whitaker. And boy, <laughs> well, like they're not even close. Yeah, no, I know. I just got the names wrong. It's not being racist. It's just being bad at names and smoking pot. Wasn't Forrest Whitaker and Sigmund of the Sea Monsters? That was Johnny Whitaker. <laughs> Johnny Whitaker. <laughs> Did you know Johnny Whitaker? I didn't know him, but I often was mistaken for him. Oh, okay. Child. Yeah. You're a child actor. Yeah. You ran in the same circle. Six degrees of separation from we Johnny same, Whitaker. Uh, we had the same red afro. <laughs> Bling! <laughs> That's correct for 50 points. <laughs> what is a red afro? <laughs> 
Uh, I think that's when you... Uh... Vagina killer. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of like a donkey punch. Yeah. A red afro. <laughs> <laughs> He's my favorite comedian. Between her legs. Something He's my favorite comedian. <laughs> Red Afro. Red Afro. I love that guy. Oh, yeah. I, hear he, I hear that's where Carrot Top got all his stuff. Yeah. Planet. <laughs> 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 uh, Starring Red Afro. Red Afro was the black Carrot Top. <laughs> <laughs> was that from Mumford and Son? <laughs> Wash your hair. All right. Uh, all right. And are we starting? So you go to Paris, France. <laughs> we're back from Paris, France. And Rift is possible, yes. So we're going to walk. Correct for 50 points. <laughs> so we're going to walk down this uh, path some more. Uh, so uh, you guys yeah. sort of, uh, uh, you look at each other. You can't believe you've killed this Cyclops 30 feet tall at least. Uh, it's lying in the uh, the middle of the path. You, uh, you comb over it. There's no treasure or anything on it. You look back down the path where it came and you figure that's probably where it hangs out so you start walking down this path uh i would figure on full alert swords out and stuff so you're heading down this uh this pathway and paris france all right any any uh does it look traveled uh it looks like uh are there cyclops prints no it looks like uh it looks kind of like there's just the one you don't you haven't heard anything so uh, uh, you uh, you realize that now you're not going up the hill anymore. You're heading down. You're going uh-huh. down a hill, and uh, uh, you start to see that there's sort of stone along to your left a, a little bit, and uh, uh, this uh, this path leads down to sort of a like a cul-de-sac, which is just like a big worn out sort of a thing, and it's in front of a cave opening. So this thing is obviously living in a in a cave uh, that's down at the end of this path. What, the thing yeah. we just killed? Yeah. Yeah, the Cyclops. Let's head let's, in. Let's kill his family. <laughs> Check out the so, cave. I at least want to yeah. loot the cave. Yeah. You, see yeah. That, yeah. you see that there's giant bones around, almost like a joke. <sighs> right. That that this, there's a... Uh, I start making R2-D2 uh, yeah, is there about a to be kidnapped by Jawa noises. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's this a violent smell from an area that you know he must go use as a toilet or whatever. Oh, no. Uh, so what that'll be good. Cyclops. Well, yay. Yeah. <laughs> He's obviously eating a lot of ribs. So, uh, uh, but you... Uh, you can head into this thing's this the cave is right there. It's sure. four in the afternoon. Let's check it out. Maybe we'll move in. Mm. <laughs> it's a uh, blue giant land adjacent. It'll it's at got least high have, ceilings. Uh, interesting. Huh? <laughs> I bet it's got a very interesting feng shui. Uh, what do we see? Uh, when you get in there, uh, uh, there's really nothing much. There's sort of like a big uh, pile of mud and weird stuff, like a uh, where pile he, of mud. Where he uh, that he sort of fashioned <laughs> into a it might be shit. It's sort of like a split level thing. He's got like a uh, he's like mud as a pillow. Yeah, he's just got. He, he's a cave cyclops. He's just sort of no belongings. Is just where he yeah. would lay down in his own filth. Mm. Well, yeah. How dark is it? Uh, it's it's sort of a nasty looking cave. It looks like it might go back a little farther, but uh. it doesn't look like he's got it. Lyra's going to inspect right. the back with her eyeballs Okay, that work well. Uh, you get into the back, you see some nooks and crannies, there's really nothing going on. All right. Fuck this place. Yep, let's get out of here. Yeah. Bail. All right. So, uh, Unless we need somewhere to camp at this point. All right, Lyra, uh, uh, do you want to sit tight for a... Uh... Well, you took, you took some points of damage, right? We all took one. Yeah, we're, we're not but I think bad. we're fine. Yeah, okay. okay. Uh, so you guys, uh, uh, you see Lyra come out of the cave. She uh, shakes her head, says, "I don't see anything." And uh, what are you hiding? <laughs> not really. <laughs> She's a giant coin-shaped thing implicitly. in her pants. Oh, I turn on you, hug. Don't you get me wrong. <laughs> uh, so uh, you sort of uh, <laughs> look around. You see that there's not really any other pathways. Uh, and uh, you start to walk back up the uh, the path towards the Cyclops. And you hear uh, up on the path ahead of you, you hear some more crunching, like rustling. But it doesn't sound like it's sneaking around like the Cyclops did. All right. Sounds more of like, a, like an animal. Okay. Lyra slips back into the shadows. Do you want me to roll for it? 
Uh, no, you can. I mean, it's it's yeah, off we'll, in the let's distance. Keep to so. the sides. I'm still gonna travel up. I'm gonna. I'll. I'll. I'll be, hey guys, I'm gonna keep following you, but I'm gonna follow you from the shadows. Sounds good. I'm gonna join All you. Right. Mm-hmm. Uh, so you, uh, you too. Uh, me too. Sure. All right. So you guys are sort <laughs> Everyone's of invisible, but Dag. <laughs> uh, Dag is in the middle of the. Uh, Wearing a bright, uh, uh, what he wore to the Duran Duran concert. He's covered in <laughs> blue Cyclops blood. Uh, so you are. Well, help him blend in, actually. You are, uh, uh, you're kind of standing along this path and uh, ahead where you assume the Cyclops body still is. Um, you hear the uh, kind of rustling, moving around. Ugh. And you and you hear almost like a sniffing and a snorting, like uh, like. <laughs> oh, a little, little pugs. Oh no! You Wolf's hear something wolves. sniffing around, and it Wolf. starts to starts to sort of uh, howl, and the howling becomes louder and sad. Oh. And then it becomes oh. kind of angry. Oh. We and, killed uh, this dog. And then yeah, it, we killed him. And then it's his dog uh, is uh, left. We gotta kill his dog. I now. mean, yeah. I mean, we're gonna kill his dog. All right, let's do it. Let's uh, kill his dog. Oh, maybe we can take it as a pet. Maybe we can ride it back uphill. <laughs> uh, <laughs> should we go reason with this dog? Uh, you let's go reason with this dog. Saddle it. Let's saddle it. I'm gonna so. write the dog a letter. Dear dog. Okay. Well, you gotta. <laughs> <laughs> we're very sorry we killed your master. Be its alpha. Yes. And uh, show, show, show okay. some giant blue lipstick. Uh, I nominate Dag to present. <laughs> <laughs> Check out my big purple monkey ass. <laughs> what is it? That's my face. Is it a poodle? A French poodle? So, uh, you guys. Uh, like from the Hulk? Do you guys sort of. Now, I'm, I'm assuming you're sort of like walking up the side of the road towards yeah. this thing yep. now? Yeah. Uh, you get up to the road and. Uh, What's your marching order? How are you guys? Who's in? Who's closest? Who's who's? I think Lyra and I are towards the front. Yeah, I would definitely try to lead the party from the from the shadows. And you're invisible. You're all invisible. Uh, sh- yeah. Because if someone comes for Dag, I want to be able to try to attack them before they actually get to Dag, if it's possible. Okay. Uh, you guys. Uh, you get up to the. Uh, as you kind of come up around this turn in the pathway that you remember when you were walking down, uh, <coughs> uh, three of you are invisible and Dag is out sort of in the open. Not really in the open, but uh, this thing, this blur goes by you and uh, knocks you over. This giant thing comes out of the woods and knocks Dag over. And you see this uh, uh, this big blue mass just hit Dag like a, uh, just like a boulder, and uh, it oh, goes. Fuck. They go back maybe ten or fifteen yards down the pathway, and uh, and you realize it stops, and it's this giant, giant thing. There's a giant thing, on. It's a big furry thing. Could be a dog, could does be it, a bugbear, could be a giant werewolf. You don't know what it does is. Does it love him or hate him? Uh, uh, well, you've taken two points of damage just from being knocked over. And we're, it, it, it's back is to us now, or it's ass is uh, to us? It looks like it's uh, going to begin feeding on Dag. No, I'm going to rush, not. I'm going to rush it as fast as I can so I can okay. attack it. So it's going to take you uh, a round to get over to it because can it's I really... magic missile it? Uh, yeah, if you want to, go ahead. I shall. Yeah, please do. So, uh, Dag, that's going to be uh, his attack. So, uh... Basically, from your point of view, it looks like you're being attacked by a, uh, 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 what's the word I'm looking for? A giant blue bear. Okay. Oh, Jesus. It's a, uh, like a, uh, and not like a fun bear, like a black bear or a going th- through a honey pot bear or, mm-hmm. you know, don't feed morning. it garbage. Like a grizzly? Like a Kodiak bear. Like it's got a Bruce Valanche bear. Yeah, it's and it's <laughs> and it's also it has a funny t shirt. It's also giant because it's a giant bear. Oh brother. Right. So uh So I hit it for twenty. You hit it for twenty? Nice. Oh, oh wow, that's good. Fuck. Very nice. Is it dead? <laughs> no. <laughs> Suck a D bear. <laughs> Gonna get it, Steve? Or are you? Next? Yeah. Can I use? Uh, 
Can I use? I have um, burning hands. Can I use? Uh, Trying to Did light you go this to burning fu- hands this year? I thought like this, <laughs> like this fucker's fur on fire. <laughs> Thank uh, you, Gary. <laughs> uh, yeah, sure. So, oh, uh, uh, Gary. Uh, <laughs> So, and you did how much? You did twenty. Twenty. Okay, good. Uh, so this uh, uh, this bear, uh, you see these uh, you see these magic missiles just fly into this big furry wall, light it up like it's like napalm is going off, but it it uh, doesn't really even seem to notice. It oh, is awesome. fixated on Fuck. whatever it's a big is behind. one. So, yeah, yeah. <laughs> mm, that's a big one. Yeah, I'm still chasing it down. Uh, well, then I don't want to use the fucking burning hands because that's not gonna. You got missiles too, right? You do. I have a, I have a spook spell. Can I spook it? <laughs> <laughs> Make it run you away? Can. Yeah, you can. Yeah, I'm going to tell a scary story. Let me spook it. It has to be pretty successful, but... Okay, sure. I want to try and spook this thing. What'll scare a big blue bear? Nice. All right, cool. Uh, so why don't you roll... What are you going to do for spook? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Did you just scare yourself? Oh, it could have gone I better. Spooked myself. What I was spooked these, this dice too. Uh, I spooked all over myself. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so uh, uh, this uh, uh, you cast up this spell, and it's a uh, uh, it is a uh, giant uh, guy. In a camouflage outfit, and he's really drunk, and uh, uh, he pulls up. <laughs> he pulls up in a giant blue pickup truck, and he gets out, and he drinks a giant blue beer, and he crumples it up, <laughs> and he pulls out a giant blue shotgun, and he levels it at the bear, and uh, and then he pulls the trigger, and it uh, just goes right back in and knocks two of his big giant blue teeth out, and then it fades away. <laughs> Was it scary? A weird nah, spell. <laughs> it didn't work out. You were going to try to scare the bear away with a hunter. Yeah. And the hunter knocked his own teeth out and then disappeared. And uh, uh, as he fades out, he goes, oh, that damn it. <laughs> so, uh, so that was that. All right. Mm. Oh, applesauce. Whose turn is it? Is it mine? Am uh, I finally closing in? Uh, you know, you're. Uh, I guess at the next, uh, the next one, you'll be in in range. Okay. Um, I'm in. Do a, I have a turn before this <clears> thing tries you to have, hit me? You have a turn. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, uh, what was your attack? Somebody do something. Oh. You want to roll a uh, roll attack here? Mm-hmm. No. Brian is rolling a die to attack. For those of you at home. Ooh, seventeen. Seventeen. That is uh, the great entertainer. If you're from Philadelphia, mm-hmm. so uh, <laughs> that is a uh, that is a hit. Why don't you roll for damage? <laughs> By the way, this thing is going to eat you. Yeah, I know. Pretty, pretty fucking scary. Huge. Eleven. So uh, eleven total. Six plus five. Six plus five. Okay. Uh, uh, so, oh, fuck, man. Uh, you uh, you take your sword uh, as this thing is kind of rearing back. It knocks you. You're on your back, and uh, uh, you get up on an elbow, and you take a swing at this thing. You cut it across like the chest and the neck a little bit. Uh, uh, and when you do, uh, it roars even more. It kind of recoils, uh, and uh, your sword just jolts you like it's. It feels like you're being shocked. <laughs> so uh, you take uh, a point of damage just from just from hitting this thing with your sword. Okay. Uh, so, uh, but that's it. Now this thing is going to get a hit on you. Uh, that is a hit, and it is uh, taking a bite out of your crime, and that is going <laughs> to rough. That is going to be a. Oops, sorry. And uh, this thing uh, bites you, Siegfried and Roy style, uh, in the shoulder for five points of damage. Oh, fuck. Wow. 
Uh, and it's you're lucky. It, you're lucky because this is like that's really not that bad considering. Yeah, that it's yeah, its mouth is the it, biggest is, thing we fought in it, a long time. It could bite you in half, no problem. All right, let's go. Let's get him. So uh, that's it, and the the next round begins. I think you're up. Hug. This thing is uh, uh, this thing kind of gets up now, stands up to sort of get a better look at where it's going to start attacking you. Uh, it hasn't really even noticed that its ass is on fire. Fucking dick. Oh, yeah. But, you know, that's Chipotle. Am I right? <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm going to... Am I close enough to touch it? Uh, Is Dan up first? No, actually. Well, maybe. I don't know. Because I, I, I was closing distance. It depends. Yeah. Uh, I, let's just... I, let's, I, I let's shot just, from distance. I can go after you two guys. That's fine. Okay. I'm st- I'm st- wait, I still get it in. Let's just go, let's just go clockwise. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> so, uh, uh, so, Hug closes to attack. And what do you... I'm going to shock and grasp it. Shock and grasp. And that is... Uh, 1d8 plus 1 per level. So 1d8 plus 5. 1d8 plus 5. And hug rolls a... Oh, nice. An 8? 13. Oh, 13. Ooh. Uh, so... Uh, you go up behind this bear and you just grab its ass <laughs> and you just sink your hands in there. Just sink them in there. Ooh, sinking your hands into the bear ass. Ooh, Leon's getting larger. And uh, there's a weird sort of and you just see electrical sparks radiate out from your hands uh, uh, and just going into the flesh of this bear and uh, uh, and you take three points of damage. Yeah, that was mm-hmm. electrical. All right. You take a point for each hand and an extra point for luck. <laughs> uh, and your shock and grasp doesn't really seem to do anything to it. Oh, fuck. Well, I think we can rest assured that blue is electricity. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And that frost does not do a whole lot against electricity. <laughs> That it repels, it sounds like. Man. Well, it's just, you know, you you have noticed that, like, metal is, uh... Metal seems to uh, exacerbate your problems. Yeah. Uh, so, winter? How tall is this thing compared to me? Like, on all fours? On all fours, I would say it's probably 15 feet tall. So, it's... On all, four, on all fours, it's twice as big as you. It's, uh... It's a giant bear. It's not as big. The Cyclops was truly a giant, like a giant giant. Right. And this thing is just a regular giant bear. So, mm. which is relative, I think. <laughs> Can I keep doing spells, or does my spell power deplete? Uh, it depends on if you want to roll. If you want to throw a spell that's like a certain level, you need that many rounds to get the spell off. If it's like a f- third level spell, you need three rounds to cast. Oh. Let me just go at uh, go at its underside with my quarter staff. Like, just, I'd like, fuck, man. I'm just right. gonna stick your quarter staff up its ass and activate it, <laughs> turn it into twelve feet long. Yeah, let's do that. Like Mr. Hand style, yeah, <laughs> like a Chinese yo-yo stick up its it ass, right in his asshole. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> All right. It keeps going for a while. Just, just I'm not against it. Take Why it not? Dinner first. Nope. <laughs> you know what? I actually I have an idea. I'm not gonna tell it. I love it either. One in the pink, twelve feet in the stink. <laughs> you clear its ass. Because the left. shocker isn't gonna work. I'll, right? fo- I'll I'll follow it up. You you clear it out. I'll uh, fourteen. Okay. Nice. That's good. So uh, you jam right your quarter staff up this bear's ass. Extend it and uh, roll for damage. What, what am I? Was that a four? go go gadget? Is that a four sided? Go go gadget. I'm not sure. Not quarter quarter staff. Staff. Dick. What's a yeah? What's a what's a quarter staff versus uh, large? Uh, it is. Uh, it is one to six. So six sided. Yeah, yes. so six sided. Whoops. Oops. Well, Doesn't I'm not going to touch it, but that's six. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to touch that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, I want to touch that with a twelve foot quarter staff. <laughs> uh, so. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> nice. So uh, winter goes. Good bits, Ken. Good bits. <laughs> winter goes uh, up to this bear's ass, which is still smoldering. 
from your previous attack. Mm, sweet smoldering oh, ass. Uh, uh, you stick your quarter staff up its ass, and yeah. uh, and you say, "I love peanut butter sandwiches." <laughs> And all of a sudden, uh, all of a sudden, this, uh, this, uh, the thing goes, and uh, from the front, the uh, bear looks at Cameron and goes, Moon River, wider than a mile. And, uh, <laughs> got, the whole ar- got the whole arm in there, Doc? <laughs> <laughs> then, the, uh, then we cut back to you, and you pull your quarterstaff back out, and you look at it and go, Well, it's normal. <laughs> But you're down two quarts. <laughs> <Let's give> you <laughs> the, the Mr. Hand shutter. The oh, oh. did he come? Did he come? Yeah. Oh. Uh, All right, so bear is still alive. <laughs> I I am going to to put something else in its ass. Did I at least make it sad? <laughs> oh yeah, you made it. You did. <laughs> you did six points of damage of sadness to okay, this bear's yeah. ass. Okay, yeah. So uh, I, I think I, damage. I'm in possession of something that could possibly oh, no. do the most possible damage oh, to no. an anal cavity. <laughs> I have gonna, a grenade if you want. You one. do. Well, I have the closest thing to a. I, I'm gonna stick the horn of blasting up I there and fire. <laughs> 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 Yep, this thing has has liquefied a uh, giant serpent in the past. I think I'm ready to see what this thing can do. I should blow uh, a horn up its ass. Okay, so uh, so Lyra appears from the shadows with a tuba or a trumpet of some sort. The flugel, the flugel horn. horn, flugel horn, a yeah. matter horn, the uh, the anal flugel horn. Uh, Ricola. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> yeah, this is the uh, the, the Helm's anal. Deep horn that uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Gimli fucking blows into. Uh, this All right, going to be great. So I want so what you am I to starting with. So twenty. Uh, 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 yeah, ro- just roll to make sure that you get it up the bear's ass. Sixteen. Nice. Okay. Now uh, uh, I want you to <laughs> before you roll damage, I want, want you to roll. Uh, Think of a song. Two ten sided die. <laughs> All right. Oh, I know exactly where you should play up its ass. <laughs> Moon River. Mm? All right. No. <laughs> I think these are two tens. Yeah. yeah. Little tune by Chuck uh, and Johnny. Uh, That'd be a two and a three. A two and a three. All right. Uh, uh, the uh, this time when you get the horn, when you kind of hit the valves a little bit, it, it gets a little hot in your hand. Ooh. It warms up uh, a little metal. bit, which is which is strange. But uh, uh, but no problem. You you do a little warm up thing, peep our beauty style, and then uh, <laughs> lips on the mouthpiece and <laughs> and what's what song she play? Feels so good by Chuck oh. and Johnny, of course. <laughs> It's muffled, of course, because it is yeah, encased it's got a mute, by the it's got and a mute. you don't get that far because you hear this thing go. Rawr! Well, we'll see. I'm, I'm hoping uh, the song can travel out the other end. We'll see. Uh, so uh, Brian looks up and uh, uh, he sees this bear stand up, and it's about uh, it roars, and uh, then the top of its head just blows off. <laughs> And uh, uh, oh, just a, just a, guy, a geyser of blue shit and organs comes out My of the top. My headphones blew off. Oh, fuck. Sorry. Man. I'm so sorry. Uh, so, uh, uh, I got amazing. very excited. So, and Brian, I want you to roll uh, I want you to roll a save versus spell. Save versus drowning. I really want fan art for this. <laughs> <laughs> this is my proudest uh, moment. Uh, what do I have to go under? Uh... <sighs> Thanks for loosening up the cavity for me there, Winter. You bet. Mm-hmm. Ream 14. it up. 14, and uh, I think yours was 14, wasn't it? Oh, it is 14. <laughs> All right. Uh, uh, so, uh, <laughs> His head came off. You, uh, uh, you barely, you, you kind of, your ears are ringing because you get really close to this blast. It was kind of, it just sort of, the bear's body became a bell and it just, all the sound sort of vibrated out, but mostly out of the top. You blew its head off, but not the way you expected. Yeah, so, uh, uh, and now I want uh, all of you to roll dexterity checks. All right. What is that? Uh, so whatever your dexterity is or lower. Where did my 20 go? Uh, do you need one? Oh, no, here it is. I'm just blind. Good. All right. Lyra's good. 12. I'm good. 
Winch is good. Good. 15. Oof. Uh, hug is good. And here comes Dag. Good. Got All right. Uh, and the bear collapses right next to Dag. And uh, and there's a weird sort of... Uh, it just settles as it dies in front of you. It's very sort of final. <laughs> and uh, uh, also, I would like Lyra to take uh, two points of uh, being that close to a grizzly bear's asshole with your horn in your mouth. Sounds good. Damage. <laughs> Let's take a quick break. <laughs> I'm going to go vomit out the bear poop. <laughs> Does a bear shit in your mouth? <laughs> <laughs> now let's take a quick break. <laughs> a real break? Yeah. Okay. Let's take one. Sounds like the music they play on Entertainment Tonight when somebody dies. <laughs> <laughs> like a big blue bear? A Vigoda. The bear. The bear. Born 2012. Died 2015. Bear was three years old. He was survived by all <laughs> his bear babies and his bear mama. So very, very sad. We're back. <laughs> what version is this? This is a long <laughs> intro to this song. Yeah. You want to play some D and D, or do you guys yeah, want to listen to some it. shitty music? Yeah, I, don't, I really, I really like shitty music. We all just got <laughs> hammered to celebrate. It, it's him. making me think of the icy bear because you got the blueberry and the and the cherry, and oh. it's like the blue the oh, icy cherry bear. shit yeah, out of yeah, that yeah. blueberry. Well, we've annihilated the fuck out of a cyclops and his uh, his fuck buddy. Yeah, we're doing some good fucking them ups. Uh. It's true. You have fucked up some stuff. Right. Uh, you yeah. kind of uh, uh, you check out the woods and stuff. Uh, the bear. There's not even a collar on it. It was obviously something he was just feeding it, or maybe it even they were just buddies. Maybe the bear lived in the cave. Who knows? Maybe the cyclops was just walking around. Who knows? But uh, uh, there's a uh, there's a cyclops body a hundred yards away. There's a dead bear right here. What do you want to do? Uh, trace its dick. Yeah. No. Um, Skin it. Uh, keep moving, right? Yeah. 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 Heading well, back towards the path. You gotta go and up back to that city. city or, yeah. yeah. Uh, and you're not taking the the eyeball with you? It's too big. Didn't we decide it was okay. like, right. like the size of this yeah. table? <laughs> well, is there anything we could take from that cyclops? You could take oh, the you're... lens from the eyeball. Yeah, exactly. Can we cu- cut it open and see if it, there's like a mirror shaped lens in there that we could. Uh... Uh, yeah, ball easy. yeah, yeah, you oh, yeah, could. Yeah. Uh,. Roll a uh, uh, what? Roll a wisdom. Okay. For, uh, I want you to roll a wisdom and then a dexterity. Should just someone with a good wisdom do this? Skin him and drag no, it. No, it's you Skin up there with us. I I did it. All right. Uh, so Lyra right, goes up to the eye, and it's really pretty gross. And uh, uh, a couple of zip zips with her with her dagger, and uh, uh, she comes out with. This, uh, it's maybe a, 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 a foot across, no, two feet across. It's a, uh, just this cobalt blue concave mirror. Weird. Uh, and uh, you sort of trim it out, and it's uh, obviously this weird sort of lens. Uh, sort, sort of, uh, I shouldn't say mirror, it's just, but, but it's dark blue, and it uh, just looks like a big lens. Mm. Sort of pliable and stuff. So, uh, and you can even roll it up like a fruit roll up if you want. I will. Or you can uh, put it on your back. You can wear it as a hat. Uh, it makes good brooch. Look, a pterodactyl. Mm-hmm. <laughs> How many <laughs> airplane references am I going to do? So I got to pick the wrong one. We just stop sniffing glue. Well, we, uh, <laughs> you can't be so weird. Uh, so, hey, uh, uh, and then the air conditioning came on. What's going on? You guys get this lens. Going back. Get back yeah. within 100 yards of the path and follow it back to the city. Sounds All right. good. You guys get back out to the uh, to the pathway. Uh, you, you keep uh, walking. It's maybe 5 in the afternoon at this point. So okay. uh, sun is starting to go down. It's not quite dark yet. It's still summertime, I would guess. 
So you're walking along the path, and that's it. Thanks for listening, everybody. That's the end of the campaign. You guys win. Uh, we found the beautiful lens of. Sa- yeah, I'm Cyclops. hoping we can do something with this just to prove our metal yeah. that we can like start talking to these guys, and even if they're really dumb, we can be like, "Look, we can fight. You don't need to just murder us immediately. Why don't we see what we can do alliance wise?" Like, I like it. I th- right. I, I'm 90 I'm percent sure they're gonna, fighting everywhere. I think they're gonna <laughs> attack us immediately, no matter what. But I thought it might be fun to like have some some um, some options. Okay. Uh, okay. So, but yeah, like well, let's keep looking on the path. See if there's like a lone traveler again. Like, I'm still up for trying to talk to if there's like uh, like that. We found a lone traveler, red giant. Okay. So, well, you guys keep uh, uh, moving along next to the road. You're heading towards the city, which is still sort of north northwest. Um, uh, the hills are getting a little steeper. Uh, roads getting a little windier, more trees, trees almost coming right up to the to the path right now, and the path is a uh, uh, you know cobblestony, big blue cobblestones. Uh, you haven't really seen anything on it, which is strange. It seems like it's a like it's a major thoroughfare, but but really nothing. So, uh, but you get uh, you get around a a. a a curve that looks like it's curving so it can go up to a, an even higher part of this hill. And uh, and you start to hear uh, some footsteps. Not footsteps, but just like there's some walking, something coming obviously down the uh, the pathway hmm. uh, uh, from ahead of you. Hey guys, uh, what do you say I go a little bit closer to the path and I try and scope out what's walking by? Okay. Yep. You can come with if you like, but since I can slip into the shadows, I'm happy to do it. Mm-hmm. Go for it. All right. So uh, uh, you get up to the. Uh, uh, you sort of slip into the shadows. You all duck off the uh, the pathway. You're all uh, you have your swords out, and you're also uh, have your weapons ready. And uh, get it. <laughs> and uh, uh, Blaine, by the way, is this episode and last has been thumbing the fuck out of that monster's manual. He's ready to <laughs> unleash. Yeah, it's, I'm actually just reading an issue of Mad Magazine in here. I just want you to think I'm looking at <laughs> monster. I wonder manual. why you kept folding it up into thirds and then giggling to yourself. It's because <laughs> the all ity aller. Oh, I get it. <laughs> and look, the awning turns into a breast. What? Uh, he keeps reading around the edges really closely too. Uh, <laughs> you gang of idiots. <laughs> Uh, so you, uh, uh, <laughs> you're sort of in the shadows, and uh, uh, Lyra, you hear uh, footsteps just coming at you. Not heavy footsteps, but very fast. <coughs> very, very fast footsteps. Okay. And uh, you're in a tree? You're behind a tree? Yeah, definitely. So I'm, I'm trying to be sh- concealed in the shadows as well via uh, okay. stealth. Uh, you, see a, uh, you see a giant, a blue giant. Mm-hmm. Can't really get a good look. Adam, uh, just power walks past you. <laughs> you can't even, if you wanted to attack, you would have to run to catch up with him. He came around this corner walking, walking very, very, very fast. Okay. Do we think we could keep up with him? Uh, and just... <laughs> no, he's huge, right? Yeah, he's huge. So his, you know, one step for him. And, uh, uh, but he looked, uh... He didn't look just working out. Yeah, he looked like he was working walk? out. He had, uh, but the one Even thing that constitutional speed, speed walking. Yeah, he was speed walking. He was wearing like these blue shorts and kind of like a blue, you know, workout shirt, and uh, wearing these like weird blue sneakers kind of things. And uh, <laughs> and he noticed that that uh, uh, blue Nike Plus that there were these uh, little blue, like like ropes coming from his ears. Oh. And uh, 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 and as he goes by, you just. <laughs> He's Jewish, is that what you're... <laughs> you sm- no. It's got fucking earbuds. <laughs> it, smel- it smells, it smells like ozone. It. <laughs> it smells like yeah, ozone. It smells like ozone. It's like, it's like, like a ozone. weird sort of... Huh. Electric blue giant. Is he headed towards the city? Jog. No, he's just sort of like heading... He's be- heading back the path that you came from. Oh, oh let's get away from that. He's going to find those bodies. <laughs> oh, no, no. He's not heading down the, the weird path. He's heading the down main, like, the, the main road. Yeah, yeah. Okay. It looks like he's just out, out for a, away for from a the power city. Walk. Okay, yeah. okay. 
What do you think? Should I try and get his attention? You I wanna... don't know if he's, he's nah. probably nah. so far gone already. All right, let's keep let going. Let's go up into the city. Uh, okay. So uh, you sort of, that was weird, you think, to yourself? You keep moving uh, uh, kind of up around the corner. <laughs> We just killed a 40-foot Cyclops, but that was weird. <laughs> <laughs> or the power-walking like giant. The power walker was weird. blew a bear's head he off did. through its ass with a <laughs> horn. That's crazy. <laughs> now I've seen everything. Well, now we all want to go to the blue giant Apple store and figure out where he got those earbuds. <laughs> and... So uh, you kind of... Uh, you. You're very cautious because you you never know if the thing this thing was moving that fast. You don't know when you're going to be unexpectedly seeing these things. Right. So uh, uh, you uh, you're walking up the thing, and uh, I want everybody to no. roll. Somebody roll for somebody roll for surprise. Who wants to roll for surprise? What size is it? It's six? just a, a six sided die. <clears throat> Five. Nice. Okay. Uh, uh, you're sort of uh, along the side of the road, and before you even know what happens, it's like there's a giant torch coming down the, the road. Two giant torches. <coughs> Excuse me. It looks like they're flying, uh, but then they get closer, and they are... Uh, uh, it looks like it's two giants, and they're on two giant weird wheeled things, and they're just sort of riding along the road, <laughs> just enjoying themselves. It's the Venice Beach of uh, Blue Giant. Right? <coughs> or what? They're like front, unicycles. Front Are they like a recumbent yeah, bike? Oh, like yeah, like bicycles. It could be recumbent. Yeah. Maybe the ones with the big wheels in the front. Whatever. Whatever kind of bike you want to imagine. A velocipede. A penny farthing. <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh. Uh huh. Maybe it could be BMX Bandit. Oh. Angel Summoner. The Green Monster. Uh, so, uh, these two giants go riding past you on bikes. Uh, they're even talking. You can't r- make out what they're saying. All right. Keep going. I guess. Well, yeah. <coughs> Are we dead? <laughs> they not see us? Or, it's heaven. We're dead? This is heaven. This yeah. is the plot of the third policeman, right? Uh, so you get up, uh, I'd say you ride from, or you walk for maybe another 20 minutes, a half an hour. You don't really see anything. You get to a, uh, you see that the road sort of, uh, you hit an intersection where you can go straight, which goes kind of up and steeper, or you can go to the left or right, which look like they're now starting to go in a level direction in either direction. Okay. (coughs) Excuse me. And both lead to this city. It looks like one is heading... One, the one that keeps going up the hill is the one you were following, and it looks like it's just like uh, uh, crossing another major intersection. Let's keep going. Yep. Mm-hmm. And we're back. <clears throat> All right. Hey, is a caller there? Hey, I'm on the phone with Steve Agee. He's in Rochester, Minnesota. Steve, what's the weather like out there? Uh, <coughs> it's cold, you know, real cold. Oh man, where you? How do you come up with this stuff, Steve? <laughs> Oh, it just comes to me, you know. It's just, uh, it's there. That, yeah, it's amazing. Now, Steve, now, how long have you been playing keyboards for the revamped REO Speedwagon? Uh, this uh, this will be my first tour, Blaine. Wow. That, now, what's it like working with that guy? What's his name? Kevin something? What's that like? Yeah, it's been all right. It's, he's a nice guy, you know. I don't mind him at all. Fantastic. All right, we have a caller. It's a uh, we have a Dan. You have a question for Steve Agee from Mario Speedwagon. Yeah, hey Steve Agee, this is uh, Dan. Uh, Hi Dan, how you doing? I'm doing great. Good to hear. Um, I'm curious. Uh, when you play the keyboard, do you feel like you are representing some greater force from the great beyond, something supernatural? We have to cut you off with your weird I god beliefs. That's Dan for calling in for Steve Ag. We apologize for that call. From, uh, I don't from, mind, you know. I all right, know we, we have another caller here. It's uh, 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 Brian uh, Pussy from uh, Los Angeles. No, I'm sorry, Tarzana. Brian, you have a question for Steve Ag. Go. Yeah, can we finish the game? Oh! Yeah, I'm off. I'm off for that, you know. <laughs> Let's do it. Yeah. All right, Steve's Let's gonna be here some. in Rochester, appearing at the Let's Dunkin' Donuts. Thanks win. for coming by, Steve. I'm gonna roll a thirty-sided dice. Uh, so, uh, uh, you don't roll dice. You guys are going Throw straight. Dice. You're, you're going straight. Yeah. 
Okay. Yeah. So, uh, you guys uh, uh, go to cross this street. What do we see? Is it, are we outside of a city? Is there? Are there? There's no walls or anything. Buildings? No, there's no walls. It's just hills. Okay. Uh, uh, we're and out it, in the park then. Yeah, it looks like you're just sort of like going up. You're going up a. It doesn't look like a mountain or anything, but it looks like you're just going up a a, a bigger and bigger hill. Okay. And uh, if you go you're either going way, up there's that hill. <laughs> Little Kate did, Bush. Did you vote for Kate Bush? I can't believe you voted for Kate Bush. <laughs> uh, and now, uh, and now, her brother Jeb is going to run. Do you believe that? Uh, so, uh, running for president up that hill. Guy had to say it. Sorry, it's like Tourette's. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> uh, so you guys, uh, uh, you're crossing this thing, and I want uh, everybody to oh, fuck. roll a dexterity check. No, fast. Fail. Pass. 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 All right. Uh, so you guys are, uh, you guys walk across this. It looks like a, uh, it looks like it's a regular road, but it's like a, fo- like a four lane highway in either direction. Mm. It's very, very wide. So uh, as you're walking across this, uh, uh, this intersection, uh, all of a sudden, one of a couple of those bikes come uh, from uh, from the left, and uh, uh, you all of a sudden hear this zing 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 like it's something on a bell oh, ringing oh, a bell, oh. and uh, uh, you don't know what's happening. The three of you jump out of the way, and this thing, uh, one of these things, clips Lyra. Oh shit! All right. uh, so Fuck. Lyra's just been hit by a bicycle. Are we in Portland? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, uh, oh, brother, and you take uh, uh, eight points of damage. What? Holy oh, shit! So you see Lyra just go. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Make that nine points of damage because you get shocked when this thing happens. Oh, so uh, Lyra, you see Lyra just get. I got mauled. She she got totally hit by a motorcycle just now. Uh, Did they stop? Uh, no, they don't stop. Oh. They didn't even really notice mm. uh, uh, that you can tell. So, uh, Lyra, you I'm sort of... I'm a little pothole. All right, let's yeah. drag Lyra out of the street. Okay, yeah, so, no shit. Uh, so you... Uh, I'm alive, but I'm not doing so great. Yeah, you got pretty fucked up. Yeah. So you go over, and uh, if somebody wants to, like, bind your wounds, you're kind of bloodied up, you're scraped. Uh, yeah. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to say there's no limbs broken. You got kind of lucky. <laughs> Yeah, uh, Jesus. But you hear a, a weird He's sort of missing a, an ass cheek. Uh, when you go over to Lyra, you hear way off in the distance from where those bikes were here. Oh man, what does that mean? they're coming. Well, anyways, we're we're pulling her off the road. Yeah, so trying to get into some yeah. cover. I'll, I'm gonna secure my bandages and try and again go back into the shadows. Okay, so you guys, uh, uh, you guys all sort of limp off the road. And uh, fuck, you uh, you see these two giants come back on these bicycles, and uh, did I see two? I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. They uh, uh, these two giants come back on the bicycles. Uh, one of them is kind of riding really slow, sort of standing up the way you balance on a bike, mm-hmm. and uh, the other one is pushing his bike, and uh, uh, one of the wheels is sort of wobbling, and they're. <laughs> One's like, motherfucker, I can't believe it. You were first trying to win a bunch of clips on them. Did you see anything? What a, what a, was there some kind of... I don't know. Shit. Yeah. So, uh, I, I'll, you want to let me go talk to him? Sure. You got high charisma? Who's got high charisma? Um, it's I got 15. Okay, that's good. That's pretty good. Yeah. We can carry you out if you need it. I don't know what the... Yeah, and things. you know, I'm hoping just because my dex is high enough, I can at least dodge. <laughs> if they just yeah. club me immediately, I can just blitz out of there. How, are you, yeah. doing, how are you doing on hit points? Um, I have not so many left. I have eight. Okay. Yeah. All right. Good but to know. Could be worse. Could be worse. Exactly. I, I have enough where I feel like if I <laughs> probably can escape a direct yeah. assault, but um, well, I we'll feel see. Like, I, I feel like some of us should stay close. Yeah. Oh, you guys feel free to come it's with. Better, but, it's, yeah, it's better if she's not alone. I think. Yeah, what you want? You want to come with me, Dag? So you, so it doesn't look like I'm a helpless lady. I look like I got a pal. Sure. You know? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I follow. Uh, I follow Lyra. Uh, 
Okay. Uh, so you guys kind of uh, head back out into the road, and you see these two giants. The one is sort of pushing his bike, and he's looking around. They're mumbling to each other. Uh, it looks like they were just out for a, for a bike ride. Mm-hmm. And uh, this one is trying to figure out what fucked his wheel up. And uh, they're just checking for potholes and everything. And uh, they look up, and uh, you see them look at you. Okay. I say, hello. Uh, we, are, we, are, we are travelers. We are adventurers. And I believe you collided with us while you were on your way. Uh, the giant looks at the, uh, the other giant. Whoa, 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 I don't know what the fuck. What is do, we, do I think that they can hear me, even though I'm smaller and there's maybe, I don't know how much distance is between us. Uh, they can, yeah, it's maybe, uh, they're, uh, uh, 50 yards away. I close the distance and, uh, when I get about, uh, 10 yards away, I guess I'll repeat myself. Uh, Okay. So uh, you go over and you go uh, and you say, hello, we are adventurers. I believe we accidentally collided while we were on the path. Uh, we, are, we are looking to find our fortune and we are visiting the great city over the hill. Did you do this to my bike? I'm afraid I did. I was walking along and I was in the path of your bike. But you hurt her. You did. I actually, I, although I took some damage, uh, it, is, it, is, it is my great regret that I may have... D- Damaged your bike. Oh, it's so... Oh, it's horrible. What you've done to my bike. I feel so bad that I hurt you. Here, let me help hurt you more. Is there something I can give you, I say? I try to interject. Is there something I can do to make up for what I have done? I have... No. We are adventurers. We are... He sort of uh, lets his bike go and just sort of starts to walk over towards you. And he doesn't look he doesn't look very happy. The other guy on the bike is just sort of balancing, standing there balancing. Like uh, he's, he's trying to be light, cute about it. Waiting for the light to change. He's but, trying to be cute. And he's kind of smiling. He thinks he's he's, he's kind of smiling. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna while te- I'm gonna tense myself to dodge, but I'm gonna stand my ground. Uh, okay. So uh, why don't you let's roll let's roll initiative. All let's right. just do this. Uh, Six? Yeah. Six. Uh, Okay, well, you have initiative. So he kind of comes over to you and stops and looks down at you. And uh, and then he does this thing where he puts his hands together and he cracks his knuckles and it sounds like an avalanche. And then he he looks like he's going to uh, reach down and do something. So what are you going to do? I'm going to, uh, yeah, uh, I'm going to spit in the dirt at his feet. <laughs> uh, okay, you spit in the dirt in his feet. Great. Uh, so he is going to uh, reach down and he grabs you. Can I keep my, can I, I'm tense. Can I try to keep my hands free? Uh, do I have a turn in between this? Or? Yeah, sure. What do you want to do? Stab at his fucking hand when he reaches down, or, or just, I, I mean, I'm not going to let it not, or, you know, I'm not going to not do anything. Okay. Uh, so why don't you take a, why don't you take a swing at this uh, giant's hand? Okay. Uh, no. Just a five. Uh, just a lonely old five. So uh, he, uh, he reaches down. It's a nine, but yeah. He reaches down and grabs you, and uh, you see Dag take a swing, but the giant just kind of moves his arm around. Because he's really big. These guys are 20 feet tall. Uh, Can I reach any of my weapons, or am I in his hand? Uh, whatever you had in your hand at the time is in your hand now. Because he is uh, he's doing a total, sword, yeah. He's doing a King Kong thing with you right now. All right. I mean, I, but my, is my turn gone because I spat on the ground? No, you can do something. I'll let I'll, just, you. I'll, I'll stick my sword right in his wrist. I'll plunge it as, as deep as I can. Okay. Do it. All right. A four. <laughs> uh, you know what? I'm going to say that that's a hit because uh, you're right there. I yeah. just want to make sure you didn't botch. So, I like uh, it. So why don't you roll for damage? All right. What are, what are we doing for that? Is that a six or four? What is this? Short sword? It's a short sword. Versus uh, my short sword versus large is one twenty eight. It says, uh, "Okay." What what dice is that? Uh, what uh, one? One to eight? Yeah, that's yeah. eight Yeah, yeah, eight. eight 
Five. Okay. Uh, so you stab this guy in the hand. He does five points of damage, and he goes, "Ow, motherfucker!" And he uh, he squeezes. Oh, by the way, you take a you get shocked when your sword goes into his hand, so you take another point of damage. Do we, do we see this happening from the side of the road? We're close. Yeah, enough, right? you're, you're close enough to shoot off yeah, a I'm missile. Gonna, I bet. Ex- that's exactly what I'm going to do. Uh, okay. Do I? But I. But do I? Am I taking additional damage for the squeeze? Uh, <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and you uh, feel him prompt s- you for you this. You feel him start to squeeze. I'm going to let him. I'm going to let Ken get uh, some magic missiles off okay. here. Sixteen. Okay. Uh, so a bunch of magic missiles slam into this giant, and uh, 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 they do sixteen points of damage. Ah, oh, son of a fucking what the fuck! And the uh, the other giant that's been on his bike sees the sees where they come from, and he just jumps off his bike and uh, uh, kind of gets down and starts to come walk over to where you are. I magic missile at that motherfucker. Uh, okay, so Winter is going to do a magic missile at the guy that just got off his bike. What am I rolling here? 20. Uh, deep, no, the four is four. pyramid five times. Plus one to each. Three. Th- three. No, that's two. Plus one. No. Oh. Four. Five. Five. Five again. Twelve. Three. One. So two. Eighteen. So eighteen, okay. Uh, da, 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 da. All right, cool. Uh, so he's like, ow, Jesus, fuck! He starts like he, uh, like he's being like attacked by <laughs> Africanized honeybees. He doesn't, like, oh, for Jesus, God, whoa, whoa. So, uh... Uh, uh, while this is happening, uh, this guy squeezes Lyra, and uh, Lyra takes. Uh, uh, you feel uh, you feel like you can't catch your breath, and then you feel like you can't catch blood flow to your heart or brain. Right. Uh, and you take seven points of damage. Jesus. Christ. That is and, uh, what I had left. Okay. Uh, Zero. And. Uh, you hear a kind of a weird crackling crunching, and you see his fist go around Lyra, and uh, he goes, "You fucked up my bike." And there's a uh, this is like John Wick. <laughs> 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 I think you set him off. And then uh, uh, when he gets done crunching you, he uh, there's a weird sound like a snap. And uh, you just feel everything get really, uh, really shocky. So, uh, and you take another 10 points of electrical damage. Uh, I'm at negative 10 right now. You're negative 10? Uh-huh. Does anybody have any, so- any sort of... Uh, no. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> Any any healing spells? Any yeah, potions? Yeah, no oh, potions! That's what I get for sticking to my morals. Anybody have any potions? I have a moth potion. A moth potion? Mm-hmm. Or a moth potion? Let me see what I have. Uh, uh, I pray to Satan. I mean, uh, <laughs> <laughs> wait, say it into the mic. <laughs> I pray okay. to Satan. I mean, Judas. <laughs> so Lyra is effectively. Uh, 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 you right now you are back. Uh, you, your life is flashing. You're up to age three, I guess. Time has uh, slowed down. Yeah, everything is. Uh, there's a <clears throat> there's a clip reel playing in your head of when you used to be Sarah. Save my friend is what I'm saying to uh, Judas. Ugh. Okay. And what do you need to do with that? Hmm? I'm just praying. Oh, you're just praying. Okay. I don't know what else to do. <laughs> Uh, is it my turn? Very uh, anti-Christian we, yeah. of you. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Um, I'm going to try to make this guy drop her and uh, stab him. Okay. Yeah, yeah, we're... We're coming up uh, coming up on the end of the episode here, but hour, yeah. Dag is going to try to uh, get this guy to let Lyra's body loose. 15? That's a hit? Mm-hmm. 
Holy cow. Mm. Only a one plus, uh, what do I have, five or six? Five or yeah. Six. Oh, uh, uh, okay. So, all right, you go up and you do you uh, uh, just a massive uh, slice against this guy's leg. A lot of blood. Doesn't really... Uh, gah, gah, ah. Now he's starting to become aware of the fact that there's other people besides the the person that he right, hit. Right. Awesome. He seems to be pretty pissed off. Uh, what should we do? Uh, well, Lyra is basically uh, uh, getting last rites in this giant's hand. Uh, Dag just uh, sliced your, uh, his leg open. Um, Hug and Winter have both launched magic missiles into their respective balls and assholes. The other one jumped off his bike and is coming over to uh, to attack. <laughs> uh, he is, yeah. And uh, uh, I guess that's it. Fuck. Wow. Uh, let's see. I've got uh, Helium, Portland coming up. Um, what else do I have in February? Uh, Vancouver. Um, nice. Up there with Jeremy Essig. Um, don't remember the name of the place, but uh, go to brianpassane.com. Hard Rock Cafe? <laughs> yeah, who would remember that? <laughs> I'm bummed. Would you? would you? Give me a shot glass. Uh, <laughs> Give me an ashtray that says Hard Rock. Dan, hopefully we'll, we'll have you roll another lady soon. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, how about I give a just a quick shout-out to Sarah and uh, say I uh, did not mean to get Lyra murdered to death. But I don't uh, think it was well, fault maybe at all. she shouldn't have had a baby. No, uh, be here uh, as a father of two children of my own, I totally get why she uh, it makes me sad. Everybody's been saying that you've really been playing Lyra really well. Yeah. And, uh, well, and you know what? I will totally, I think, roll up another lady, and I'm going to keep trying to play the way Sarah plays. Uh, it's been really awesome, and I. Uh, yeah, Sarah's. I love the way Sarah plays D and D, and that's the way I like to play D and D. So okay, well, fucking maybe, hell. Maybe we can, uh, <laughs> God maybe damn we can it! Avenge you. Maybe we don't all die next week. Yeah, uh, I would. I would recommend against it. Yeah, maybe we can all die and roll up Sarah's. All right, <laughs> let's do it, you guys. I want to play like a lady. Just the way uh, I play. Like a lady. <laughs> Thanks for listening, guys. Bye. Thanks for killing our friends, Blaine. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. <laughs> This has been an Earwolf Media production. Executive producers Jeff Ulrich and Scott Aukerman. For more information, visit Earwolf.com. Earwolfradio.com <laughs>